Blaco's owners have been putting flyers up throughout the neighborhood, hoping someone sees their beloved pet and calls police. It wasn't a flyer, though. It was a Facebook post that turned this case of a missing dog into a stolen dog. <laughs> It's been more than two weeks since Edgar Lanzario and his sister Anel have seen their buddy Blaco. He's a good dog, sweetheart, you know, and he's, he's family. The Lanzarios believe someone swiped their four-year-old white American yeah. bulldog right out of the front yard near 7th and A the evening of January 24th. They say the gate was shut and Blaco can't jump the fence. I called my sister and my roommates helped me look for him for like two, three hours around the neighborhood until like 12 a.m and he wasn't anywhere to be found. Lancetio took to Facebook to post about his missing pooch and offered a $500 reward. Then Saturday, the phone rings. First he says that he had my dog. He's like, I have your dog. I want the reward. And I was like, okay. I was like, I want to see if it's the dog first. Lancetio then received this text. That's Blaco. She says the man told her he paid someone else $300 for their dog, and then, she says, no, he started no, to get that's, pushy that's and threatening. And like, well, why are you acting like that? You know, you're going to get your money. I just want my dog back. They called the police. <laughs> and every day they text and call that number. The text now subscriber you were trying to reach is not available. But no answer. The caller who said he has their dog, gone quiet. The number? untraceable. Are yeah. you worried about Blaco? I, tr I, I try not to think about it. I've, if I do overthink about it, then I'll just stress and um, I just hope he's okay and I hope they, they're not abusing him. I'm scared of that. The Lancerios are still offering that $500 reward to anyone who finds their pet and brings Blaco home. They just hope it's not too late. In Lincoln, Michelle Bandur, KETV, Newswatch 7.